Hello, everybody. So this is Tuesday afternoon. It is December 15th, and we are on lesson 16 in phonics. Lesson 16. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and share my screen so we can go ahead and get started. Sorry, didn't mean to do that. Try that again. All right, on lesson 16. Okay, so we're going to do some more mixing it up activities. Our first word that we're going to mix up is the word plane. Plain. We're going to say it without the n part. What's the new word? It is play. Good. The next word is the word clash. Clash. We're going to say it without the ol sound. So, what is the new word going to be? It will be cash. The next word is the word worse, worse, but we're going to say it without the s. It's the word were. All right. Our next word is trend, trend. We're going to say it without the er. It's the word tend. Very good. The next word is the word line. Line. And we're going to change the I to O. So what's the new word? It is loan. Good. The next word is the word snow. Snow. We're going to say it without the n mm in the word. What is the new word? It is so. So. Sorry, I made a typo. Let me fix that really fast. Okay. The next word is the word cloud. Cloud. We're going to say it without the k part. So now the new word is just loud. Very good. Okay, our next word is the word break. Break. We're going to say it without the er. What's the new word? It is bake. Very good. The next word is the word glass. Glass. We're going to change the g to So the new word is class. And our last word is the word spoon. Spoon. And we're going to say it without the p part. So it is the word soon. Very good. All right. So now we're going to change the final sounds of some words. We're going to manipulate some phones. Our first word is the word weed. Weed. How many sounds do you hear in the word weed? We have three sounds. We have weed. Weed. Get my pointer. There we go. We're going to take this final consonant sound and we're going to change it to k. So our new word is week. What's the new word? Weak is the new word on the curve. The next word is the word rice. Rice. How many sounds do you hear in the word rice? We have three sounds. We have r ice. R ice. We're going to take this final s sound and we're going to change it to t. We have r ite. R Right. What's the new word on the curve? It is the word right. Good job. All right, the next word is the word lug. 
lug. How many sounds are in the word lug? That's right, we have three sounds. We have lug, lug. We're going to take this final consonant sound and we're going to change it to sh, uh, sh, l, uh, sh. What's the new word on the curve? It is lush. Very good. The next word is the word shade. Shade. How many sounds are in the word shade? That's right. We have three sounds. We have shade. Because remember, the S and the H together is just one sound. They say shh. So we're going to take this final D sound and we're going to change it to K. So now we have sh a k. Sh ache. What's the new word on the curve? It is shake. Very good. Okay, our next word is the word pass. Pass. How many sounds do you hear in the word pass? That's right, there are three sounds. P ass. P ass. We're going to change this final consonant sound to because the TH only makes one sound. Remember, so we have p -ass, p ass. So, what is the new word on the curve? That's right, it's the word pass. All right, our next word is the word phone. Phone. These sounds are in the word phone. We have three sounds. We have own, own. We're going to change this final consonant sound to k, k. So we have f oak, f oak. What is the new word on the curve? It is folk. All right. And our last word is the, oh, not the last word. Sorry. We still got another whole screen. We have the word woke. Woke. How many sounds are in the word woke? We have three sounds. We ooh. That's not supposed to be there. Hold on, let me fix it. There we go. That's better. So we have woke. Oak. We are going to take this final k consonant sound and we're going to make it say v, w, o, v, w, o, v. So the new word on the curve is wove. Our next word is the word rug. Rug. How many sounds are in the word rug? That's right. We have three sounds. We have r, ug, r. Ug. We're going to take this final consonant sound and we're going to change it to n, r, un, r, un. So the new word on the curve is run. Our last word for today is the word elf. Elf. How many sounds here in the word elf? right we have three sounds we have elf elf so we're going to take this final sound and we're going to change it to else else our new word on the curve is else all right okay so our spoonerisms for today is me the sand me the sand. Do you need to see it? Me the sand. All right, that's right. It is see the man. All right, our learning targets today are I can practice my new words. I can identify words with the uh and you sounds, and we can read the story, The Twins Heart 
too. And remember, we're not buddy reading or partner reading because we're not together. All right, so we have a new list of spelling words this week. And these are words that you were going to be studying at home. So let's practice the words together. This week's words are antonyms and synonyms. Antonyms are words that are opposite, like hot and cold. Synonyms are words that have almost the same meaning, like dinner and supper. A synonym and same both start with the letter S. That can help you remember that synonyms mean words that are almost the same. All right, so um, we're gonna skip this part because we're not gonna have this spelling test because it will be over, over um, the winter break. So we're not gonna have the spelling test, but I still want you to practice the words. All right, so here we have the word under and the antonym is over. We have the word noise and the antonym is silence. We have the word open and the antonym is the word close. Brave and the antonym is scared. Cute, the antonym is ugly. Then we have the word minus and the synonym is subtract. We have the word last and the synonym is the word final. We have the word foe and the synonym is the word rival. We have robber and the synonym is bandit. We have the word road and the synonym is the word street. All right, so you have a worksheet, you have two worksheets for today. To 16.1 is just your spelling list so that you can write it in your journal on the next piece of paper. So here are your spelling words. All right, so on page 45 of your phonics journal, you are going to write your new spelling list. We put today's date, 12-15, spelling list number 10, and write your words, 1 through 10, skipping a line in between each word, please. So that's all you have to do with 16.1. It's just your spelling list. All right. So if you see this letter, what sound would you say that it, that it would sing? It would say, uh, as in, but, good. So we would say, uh, as in, but. So let's think of some words that have that sound in it. I can think of the word cut or under or umbrella. Can you guys think of anything else? Well, I have some. I have the words under, uncle, up, umbrella, us, and unzip. So what about these two letters together? How would you say that sound? You would say that as you. It's a long vowel sound like in the word cute. We have already learned one spelling for the U sound and that's U consonant E. But over the next few days, we are going to learn some new spellings for that sound. The new vowel sound for today is the U sound as in music. Let's all say this sound together, U. You like in the words uniform, ukulele, United States, unicorn, tissue, and unicycle. So let's look at these words together. For the U consonant E, we have the words cute, Q, 
cube, refuse, confuse, and compute. We have the U and the E together that make the U sounds. And the UE column where they are beside each other, we have the word Q, value, rescue, and continue. And then we have some letter, the letter U by itself that says U instead of a, uh, like in music, human, humid, humor, and youth. And then we have some odd ducks, like in the word nephew, oops, and few. That EW is what makes the U sounds. All right. Oops. So we're going to look at our spelling trees now. I have got wires everywhere, people. This is ridiculous. Hold on. I'm going to pause for just a second. All right, so we are going to look at our two spelling trees today. One of the trees is going to say a, uh, and the other tree is going to say you. So let's look at our trees. Okay, so here is our a uh, tree, and here is our u tree. Again, I'm sorry it's so blurry. All right, so our first word is the word cute. Where is that going to go? Which tree will that go on? It's going to go on the U sound tree, but which branch is it going to go on? Is it going to go on the just the U, U consonant E, the UE, or the odd ducks? Which one do you think it's going to go on? It's going to go on the U consonant E branch. What about the word compute? Where is it going to go? Is it going to go on the a uh tree or the u tree? That's right, it's going to go on the u tree. Where on the u tree? Which branch will it go on? It's going to go on the u consonant e branch. What about the word unit? Unit. Which tree is it going to go on? The a uh tree or the u tree? That's right, it's going to go on the u tree, but which branch will it go on? That's right, it's going to go on the u branch because it's got the u all by itself to make that sound. What about the word Q? Q. Where is that going to go? All right, it's definitely going to go on the U tree and it's going to go on the U E branch. What about the word value? Value. Which tree will that go on? That's right, it's going to go on the U tree. Which branch will it go on? It's going to go on the UE branch. Good job. All right, our next word is the word confuse. Confuse. Which tree will that go on?
Yep, it's going to go on the yew tree and it's going to go on which branch? The yew consonant E branch. Our next word is the word humor. Humor. Where should this word go? That's right, it's going to go on the yew tree on the yew branch. We have the word continue. Continue. Where's that going to go? It's going to go on the yew tree under the U E. What about the word music? That's right, you guys are getting so good at this. It's gonna go on the U tree, on the U by itself. What about the word refuse? That's right, it's gonna go on U consonant E. And we have the word rescue. Yep, that's right, it goes over here on the UEs. And the next one is the word human. Human, where does that go? Goes on the use. All right, and then we have nephew. What part of that word says you? That's right, it's the EW part, but it is not on our tree anywhere. So it's gonna go on the odd duck. What about the word few? The same thing, the EW is the part that says you, and it goes on the odd ducks also. Okay, nice job, guys. I'm gonna switch my camera. So now I can share my screen again. Okay, so you have another worksheet to do. You actually have to work on this one. Remember 16.1 was just your spelling list. And this one is words that have the U sound in them. And you're going to read the words in the box and put them in the correct sentence. There are eight of them. So we have the word cute, fumes, huge, compute, Confused, accused, refused, and mute. Let's do an example together. There is too much noise. Please put the TV on. Should you put it on cute? Should you put it on fumes? Should you put it on huge? Should you put it on compute? Which one should you put it on? We need to put it on mute. Okay, so you were just going to put the correct word to finish the sentence and there are eight sentences. All right, it is time for our story. Remember that we talked about the Soccer Twins part one yesterday. This is the second part of, their, of the story about Pat, Les, and their soccer game. Remember that a narrator is telling the story. And also remember that the pictures may have captions under them. And captions are important and they should not be ignored. Okay, so we're going to go back to our KWL chart for the second part of this story. Okay, so let's look at our KWL chart that we started with some things that we know about soccer. So we said that there is a goalie to catch the ball. You can't use your hands. You kick the ball around with your feet. There are 11 people on the team. There's a winner for every game and the field is really big. 
and some things that we were wondering about soccer. I wonder what the twins are going to do. Why can't you use your hands? And I wonder what soccer shoes are called. And for those of you that are um, virtual students, those were questions that the other students came up with. So what have we learned about soccer so far? Well, I'm going back to something that one of the twins said is that you have to have you have to be able to pass the ball. Remember that? She said you have to be able to pass the ball to be able to score. Well, I'm going to add that's really big. I don't think that needs to be that big. But you have to be able to pass the ball well to be able to score. Have you guys learned anything else about soccer so far? Okay, so let's keep going then. Okay, so let's look at this tricky word. This is the word England. This is the name of a country, and the countries are always proper nouns, and so they always begin with a capital letter. And England is a tricky word because the beginning of the word starts with an E, and you would think that it would say eh, England, but that doesn't sound right. The E in the word England says E. So this is the word England. All right, some of our spelling that we need to review. We have some words with the ed suffix at the end of the word. Remember a suffix is a small part of a word that goes at the end of the word. So we have the word tugged, looked, and played. And then we have the multi-syllable word goalkeeper. Goal keep er. Okay, so let's read our story so we can see if there's any more information to add to the KWL chart. Okay, so we are going to read the Soccer Twins part two. And remember, if we find out any new information or we have previous information that we can update on our chart, we can always change it. Okay, so here's the cover of our story, Kids Excel. And here is our table of contents and it says the soccer twins part two starts on page 48. The soccer twins part two. Les and Pat ran off to play their big game. Their dog princess tugged on the leash, hoping she could play as well. Ted held her back. He petted princess and got her to sit on the sidelines. We looked on as Les and Pat played soccer. We say soccer here in the United States, but outside of the United States, they say football. The name football makes a lot of sense since the players use their feet to kick the ball. The goalkeeper can use her hands to stop the ball but the rest of the players can't use their hands. May, but maybe an even better name would be feet ball. After all, you use both feet. Soccer, football, or feet ball? Which name do you think is best? So let's look at the map up here at the top. All of the places that are in blue say football, but the places that red call it soccer definitely more places of the world call it football than soccer 
At one point, Les made a nice pass. Her teammate had a shot on goal. She kicked the ball hard, but it bounced off the goalpost. Pat played well, too. She had to block two shots by the Dickens players. She knocked one out of bounds and grabbed one with her mitts. Both teams had shots on goal, but for a long time, there was no scoring. The clock ticked down. It started to look like the game would end in a 0-0 tie. Then Les got the ball. She passed to a teammate. The teammate ran a bit and then passed the ball back to Les. Les took a shot. The ball went zipping past the Dickens goalkeeper and into the net. Goal! The Clark Bees ran and jumped on top of Les. Clark was in the lead, but there was still time left in the game. The Dickens players got the ball back. They ran and passed the ball. A Dickens player took a shot, but Pat grabbed it. Just then the horn went off. The game was over. The Clark Bees were the winners. They were the state soccer champs. All right, so let's go back and add, what are some things that we've learned about soccer? I know there's one thing that um, we need to fix here where we say there is a winner for every game. It said something in that story that made me think that that's not true. It can end in a tie. So we're gonna mark this out. And we're gonna make a new one that says, I don't want it to be struck through anymore. We're gonna say the game can end in a tie. And I need to fix that. Oops, I spelled that wrong. Okay, I fixed it. I took away the strike on that part. So the game can end in a tie. So that is previous knowledge that we had that we needed to update. Something else that we learned about soccer is that the majority of the world does not call it soccer. They call it football. Oops, I need to put the majority of the world. Calls it football. That's another big thing that we just learned. Okay, so let's go to our question. So which team won the soccer match? Les and Pat's team won the soccer match. That's right. What did you learn that we can add to our KWL chart? Well, we learned that there could be a tie and we learned that most of the world calls it football instead of soccer. Are there any questions about soccer or the story that weren't answered? when we finished reading. Well, let's go back and look. Um, we wondered what the twins were going to do and we know what they did. They played the soccer game and then their team won. Why can't you use your hands? That has still not been answered. That is gonna be in the rule books and that was not a part of the story. And I wonder what soccer shoes are called. And as I told my hybrid students, soccer shoes are called cleats. Okay, so you have a second worksheet to do today. 
Remember 16.1 is just your spelling list. 16.2, you need to work on the words in the box, putting them in the correct sentence. And 16.3 is antonym and synonym practices. Remember antonyms are the opposites, synonyms are the same. So what would be the opposite of open? Close. What would be the opposite of add? Subtract. What would be the opposite of up? Down. Okay, so you're doing opposites. Down here, you're doing synonyms, things that are the same. So what would be something that is the same as enjoy? Like you could say, I enjoyed that movie or I liked that movie. What would be a synonym to the word large? How about big? What would be a synonym to a lawn? A yard. Okay, so you're gonna use your text boxes to answer those questions. All right, and our learning targets for today were, I can practice my new spelling words. I can identify words with the uh and the u sound, and I can read the story, The Soccer Twins, part two. So that is it, guys. That was a short lesson. I hope everybody enjoyed that, and I hope you learned something. Today's, um, well, let's say today's secret word is Rudolph. Let's go with Rudolph, okay? Rudolph is our secret word. All right, so I will see you guys later. Have a great afternoon. Bye.